All right, welcome guys. Today we're gonna to take this uh, this bus right behind me. We're here at Ekamai in uh, Bangkok. So uh, we're gonna take the bus, we're gonna go over to Pattaya and we're gonna take a couple song cows and then we're gonna catch a boat and we're gonna go out to the island of Kolan. Gonna go out there and stay and enjoy the island and uh, see what we see. So let me, uh, let me show you around. So the bus is 119 baht, so about four bucks, and it will take you to Katia, which takes a couple hours, and it leaves every uh, every hour. And it's really easy. You go to the Ekamai BTS station, and then uh, take exit two, and it takes you to the Eastern Terminal, which is the bus station that services uh, this part of Bangkok. You can go to Mochit also, which has got another main uh, main bus station. But uh, this one is pretty easy, and it, you don't have to uh, take a taxi or a motorcycle taxi or anything like that. Just take the BTS right to. All right, so it's two hour by bus, and here we are in Pattaya. And when you go to leave, there's two windows. There's one that takes you to the. Uh, you can buy a ticket to Ekamai, and the other one you can buy a ticket to uh, Mochit. So anyway, we're gonna catch a song tao to a song tao, and then we'll get down to the pier, and then we'll take a boat, and we'll go across over to Kolan. So. Hopefully we won't have any issues and let's all right so we made it down to the pier ended up just uh getting in the one song tao from the bus station and it was 30 baht could have negotiated a little bit but it was just easy just to jump in so a dollar to go from the bus station down to here so now we're walking out to the the ferry pier and we'll catch the slow ferry over to the island and here's a look at patia things downtown patia looked pretty dead and the walking street area they're uh doing a lot of construction and the famous Patia city sign. All right, so we made it to the island and now it's time to go check into the hotel. So the, the boat is 30 baht and this is the boat. You can take the speed boats for 150 baht, but these work out just fine. It's a little slower. It's like 40 minutes, but it's not a real problem. So now we're gonna find the hotel and uh, the little town is a little chaotic and they have motorcycle rentals and stuff like that here. So let's uh, go find the hotel and then we'll go find something okay, to do. So here's the room, got little bungalows. So they have a whole row of these little individual bungalows. It was 830 baht a night for uh, breakfast. Okay, so here's the room. Has a big bed and it's kind of strange. They uh, gave us a garden view room for 830 baht, which is about $25 or so. Here's the bathroom. It's pretty standard, but it's uh, has this little room over here. I guess you could do some cooking or whatever. Pretty standard room, but uh, you know, you're on an island, so not too bad. But uh, they made us come all the way over to another building away from the pier, so very strange. So we have to go to the other building to have breakfast in the morning. And the breakfast was included in the so the little pier and ferry area is quite busy. And the uh, ladies have some uh, food and stuff set up here. There's quite a few little markets that just spring up in these little narrow alleys. They actually made some of them one way, but uh, generally the Thais ignore all of that stuff. They just kind of go wherever. 7-Elevens, souvenirs and knickknacks, that type of stuff. Can't go anywhere in Thailand without a 7-Eleven. Yeah, the port area is great. I really, really like this little part of this island.
So right here next to the uh, downtown is a little fresh market right next to the temple. So they have all kinds of stuff. They have fish, lots of seafood around, and a bunch of snacks. You just park out here and then you can come over. So the Thais will come and they'll buy the fresh seafood just like this and then they'll barbecue it up on the beach or whatever. As you can see, we're right here next to the ocean and there's Patia on the horizon. More seafood and vegetables and snacks. It's a pretty neat little market. It's not very big, but it's got quite a bit of stuff in it. Okay, so we've got some uh, Gapao Mu. I told them without the spice, that's the moosap, the minced, minced pork. And then we got some fish with some ginger and some rice. So we'll eat this up and uh, look around a little bit more.